Welcome back to Live Young Diecast. I'm your host, Chips McGee. And let's start with the DIRS because I just finished up my racing career over at Chaos Canyon, finishing my final runs with 13 points. Overall takeaway is 65, an honorable takeaway, and we are happy to have been part of it. And thanks to Chaos Canyon for the invite. Happy to host that as well. Fast and Furious is upon us, our final group. It's the Nissan group. We've got John Receiver with 16 points. Daniel Herman's at the bottom of the pack with nine. We've got two spots to fill. Will it be Marquista from Eminem Diecast Racing? He's in the Nissan 350Z tonight with that FTE package. The Liberty Walk GT35 was going to be driven by the crazy Canuck. However, a catastrophic failure put that car out of the running. So he's in the backup ride, a 2017 Nissan GTR driving for the EH team out of Canada. Good luck, Crazy Knut. And Mr. Dark is with us from Dubious Diecast. He's in the Nissan Silvia, also rolling that FTE package. Finally, Doc from Doc Speed Shop is in the gorgeous Nissan Leaf Nismo, an electric ride. Let's see how our drivers do for the Nissan group. This is the last bit. Marquista's up front with Doc in the rear and Mr. Dark on the outside with the crazy Canuck. We're off to lap one. Marquista holding his lead so far from that pole position. Someone's gonna look to pass here as usual. Doc, crazy Canuck. Crazy Canuck tries to get by. He will not do it as Marquista backs up in reverse with a bit of a hammer down to block him out from taking over here. Spins around. Crazy Canuck goes for it, Marquista blocking him out. Excellent finish, excellent driving from Marquista to hold that five point win. Looks like Mr. Dark came away with third and Doc came away with fourth as he rounds the turn last and holds that position really tight there on the finish line. So after lap one, Marquista in the lead. Crazy Canuck with three, Mr. Dark has two, and Doc's got one. We'll head into lap two. Marquista's in the rear. That is Doc right next to him. Crazy Canuck's up front in pole position. Mr. Dark on the outside. Lap two. Crazy Canuck gets passed by Mr. Dark, who's holding his lead through the ridge jump. And can he hang on to it? He will. Marquista takes second. Doc has third, and Mr. Dark has fourth. I don't know how Mr. Dark lost that lead. That was fantastic coming through the ridge. And the first 180, he had a great overtake. Ah, he gets squirrely off the jump and just spins out and loses control, allowing everyone to cruise by. Goodness. A lot of speed there from Crazy Canuck coming through the barricades at the end. He'll take a five point win for lap two. Marquista in second. Doc comes in third, Mr. Dark for four. And that's eight to eight from Crazy Canuck and Marquista. Three to three with Doc and Mr. Dark. This is still anyone's race here heading into lap three. Any two drivers can still advance. Mr. Dark's up front pole position with Doc Canuck in the rear. Marquista falling behind. And we got a little spin out from Mr. Dark once again. Oh, he loses it and loses the win on this lap to, I believe, Doc. He just opened the door and Doc squeezes right through. Says, thank you, sir. I'll take that. That was Doc in the Nissan Leaf. Squeezing right through. Looks like the Canuck will take three and Marquista will end up in fourth here. Doc, Mr. Dark, Crazy Canuck, Marquista. Let's take a look at the overall. Crazy Canuck now in the lead with 10. Doc has eight. Marquista one point behind the leader with nine. Mr. Dark with six. We still have any two that can advance here. It's gonna come down to the fourth and final lap to see which two are going to advance. Anyone can take a win here and move ahead. It looks like the Crazy Canuck though is gonna be one of our 
drivers advancing into the showdown semifinals. That is Doc up front. Marquista's in third. Mr. Dark right behind Doc. Oh, a little bit of spin out on the Moon Tower turn. Doc will take the win here. Looks like Mr. Dark did come in behind. Let's go take a look. Everyone finishes through the loop here. Doc, Mr. Dark, Marquista. Everybody holding that position here. Marquista with a big bang there onto Mr. Dark. Looks like he was gonna make a pass, but just makes contact instead. I think he would have got around there. Let's take a look at the finish line. That's Doc, Mr. Dark, Marquista, and a big jump from Crazy Canuck finishing for one point and fourth on that final lap. So overall, we've got Doc with 13. He will advance. Mr. Dark has nine, and that's 11 points each to Crazy Canuck and Marquista. And that means we've got a race off to see who will advance. We need another driver to advance here into the semifinal showdown next week. Marquista in the 350Z, Crazy Canuck in that GTR. We'll go best of three, and a coin flip will have Marquista on the inside to kick this off. Crazy Canuck on the outside. Marquista rocking that FTE package and takes a nice little lead. Crazy Canuck is going to go for an overtake. He won't get it, even though Marquista spins out, and that is lap one going to Marquista. Excellent bit of driving from both drivers here, pushing for it. Marquista with one in the bag, he's on the outside now. Another lead out of the gate, but Crazy Canuck pulling ahead. Takes it low on the inside, smart move, and an overtake by Marquista. Looks for a window, and he takes it. Just puts the hammer down and takes the second win, and that is done. Marquista will be moving on with Doc, who had 13 points in those four laps. Those two moving on, we say goodbye to the crazy Canuck and Mr. Dark. Thanks, y'all, for racing with us. Overall standings have John Receiver in 16 points. He will go up against Daddy G next week with 15. Tied for 13, Ego and Doc will go head-to-head. -head. We'll skip down to the V-Man and Marquista, both with 11. They will go head-to-head. -head. And our fourth head-to-head -head matchup is Eli Storm and Daniel Herman with 12 and 9 points, respectively. Those will be the head-to-head -head mashups for the semifinal showdown next week. Lastly, we launched a little shop, and if you head on over to the link in the description, you can score a tee or a hoodie and support the channel. It'd be a whole lot cooler if you did. Hey, y'all, thanks for watching, and remember, live young, die cast.